cornbread dressing. Look how good that look. I paired it with- Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and taste this cornbread. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, my minkies. Guys, we're gonna get straight into it. So you need two containers of dressing mix, whichever kind you decide you wanna get. I'm using two of the 16 ounce, uh, which I'm guessing is one pound. So I got two containers like this, and this is the Richard's. I also use a small container of liver. I don't use the whole container, but I take some of some of it out. So this is the um, the liver, guys. Chicken liver. You can put in your dressing mix whatever you want to put in there, guys. And you also need onion, bell pepper, green onions. And also parsley if you have parsley. If you don't have parsley, it's okay. You can go without it. Okay, we're also going to use some chicken stock base. We're going to make some chicken stock to put in our cornbread dressing. Okay, so we have our ground meat cooking right now. This is about three pounds of ground meat. And I will drain the grease out and then we will add our dressing mix. Now we're going to add our dressing mix. And you want to let that cook down. My fire is on medium low, but I'm going to put it down just a tad bit. And I'm just going to add the next one in. I'm just opening it right now. Okay. I'm gonna break it up in there. Okay, we're gonna break this up in here. It was kind of frozen just a little bit, so that's why I gotta break it up like that. But if it's like thawed out, it shouldn't be that hard to break it up. And you just mix it all together. The ground meat is already cooking. It shouldn't take that long for the, for the dressing mix to cook, y'all. You just stir that in there. And just let it cook down. I'm gonna let that cook down and I'll be back. All right guys, so we're gonna start on our stock base to make our chicken stock. So the, the directions say to combine one teaspoon of stock base which is this with one cup of boiling water so we're gonna put our water boiling first now it says for a larger amount combine four ounce with five quarts of boiling water so i'm not gonna measure well i might measure it because y'all know me i don't be measuring nothing y'all but we're gonna do this so i can make sure i get the right amount okay guys so we're gonna put two quarts of water in here now i'm putting hot water because it's going to end up boiling anyway so it can boil a little quick all right i put it on the stove to boil guys so we're gonna let that go ahead and boil and we're gonna get back to our dressing mix now your dressing mix should look like this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off and I'm gonna cut up my onions and bell peppers and stuff so we can um, saute that and add it in here. I cut up the bell peppers. Now I would suggest cutting them small because this is going in a dressing. Um, maybe even smaller than this but this is fine 
it depends on you know your preferences when it comes to cutting up uh, bell peppers and onions and stuff for your dressing so we are going to uh, add this to saute it we have our onions right here as well and they are chopped small guys and it's up to you on how you want to cut these as well we're gonna add them to our pot I cut up my green onions as well you can cut your green onions as you please we're gonna also add some parsley flakes now if you want you can just cut up some parsley but I already had some parsley flakes so what's the point in cutting it sorry guys I'm shaking the camera while I'm doing this I'm holding the camera but we are going to add that like that I'm gonna add some butter as well give me a second okay and there's your butter so now you want to put your fire on medium medium low and you want to let that saute down guys we'll be back as I added a half a teaspoon um to this boiling water that's why the water is yellow so our base can kind of break up a little bit in there so we're gonna let that kind of cook down and stir it up Spoon. Just kind of stir that up in there so it can kind of break up y'all see those little tiny things floating in there that's the base I added the liver in with the onions bell peppers green onions and um, the parsley this is not how it's gonna look guys uh, once it's cooked once it cooks down it's gonna look totally different you can add it this this way or you can add it with the ground meat and the dressing mix when you're cooking it down but for this one I just decided to add it with the onion and bell peppers and the uh, green onions and the parsley and stuff so we're gonna let that cook down see you can you can tell it's turning brown already guys so it's gonna go really well with the dressing mix so we're just gonna stir it up in there If your chunks of liver is not you know um, broken up the way you need it to be to go into the dressing mix just kind of break that up in there so how you want it It's gonna be really good guys I just know it it's gonna be really good and this is not my first time making this but I wanted to share with you guys this recipe okay I'm gonna let that cook down this is cooked guys the liver we're gonna go ahead and add this to our dressing mix I broke it up enough and it should blend perfectly well with the dressing mix. So 
So we're about to cook the cornbread and then we're gonna add the chicken stock, guys. So I'll be back. Okay, so I added it to our dressing mix. And just stir that in there like that. I'll mix that in there. See how that blends so perfectly, guys? So perfectly. You wouldn't even know they had liver in here. And it's gonna it's gonna taste really good. If you're not a liver person, like this is this is gonna taste so good, you're not even gonna realize it's liver. We have our Jiffy corn muffin mix. Well, I call it cornbread mix that we are going to use to make our cornbread. Now we're gonna follow the directions right here to make our cornbread. And my oven is already preheated because I was baking some chicken, guys. So I don't have to worry about preheating my oven. So we're gonna do the three boxes of cornbread mix. One egg for each box and one third cup of milk for each box. And I will show you guys once I have everything mixed. I mixed the cornbread up already and I placed it in a pan. Um, I decided to put some cooking spray at the bottom so it wouldn't stick. It's up to you if you guys, you know, want to do that. So we're gonna place that in the oven and I really don't go by the time on the box. You can if you want, but I, I know a way to tell whenever it's cooked. So I'll be back once it is cooked. All right, our cornbread is finished. So now we are going to add it into our dressing mix. Guys, I know it's just, it's just gonna be really good. I just know it will. Look how golden that looks, golden brown. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> let's go ahead and add it all right our cornbread is in our pot now we are going to stir that in there guys i'm holding the camera so we will be right back let me go ahead and stir this and i'll be back guys all right guys you want to season your dressing mix your cornbread dressing mix and this is the stock that I just decided to use it this was from my chicken um the juices from my chicken that I had baked in the oven so I decided I'm just gonna pour just a little bit of that in the uh, dressing mix and the um, the stock base that I use is mixed in here guys so we're just gonna add just a little bit just a little bit it's up to you on how much you want to add we're gonna go ahead and mix all that in and i'll be right back guys and there you have it guys cornbread dressing look how good that look i paired it with some lemon pepper baked chicken wings guys with the corn on the cob but look at that stuffing it is not dry at all guys and we will take a bite in a second hey guys we're gonna go ahead and taste this cornbread mix how is your day going my day is going fine guys so let's get to it mm. i think you guys will love this dressing mix not dressing mix. I don't know why I said dressing mix. <laughs> this cornbread dressing, guys, is so good. It's really good. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta try this. Now, guys, let me tell you. I would like to thank my sis, Developing Mind, for I think it's Developing Mind or Developing Minds. Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'll spill in that room. But thank you, sis, for inspiring me to make this particular meal. And I hope that inspires you to make this meal as well. 
y'all go check her channel out her channel name is developing minds i will put it across the, the screen just in case you know i'm saying it wrong but go check her channel out guys subscribe to her channel share her channel out so she can gain more subscribers guys and tell her mink sent you i hope you guys enjoyed this meal and please let me know in the comment section what would you like for me to make next and if i can make it guys i will make it for you and the holidays is coming up so if y'all got a meal y'all think y'all want me to try let me know before the holidays so thank y'all for watching and thank y'all for being some awesome subscribers and if you haven't subscribed already please go and subscribe to my channel so y'all can see all the good meals and stuff that i have on my channel so thank y'all for watching. Bye bye, my Mickey.